peace and blessings collective tonight i am going to be spilling all the tea on yoni steaming and sex stay tuned <music> Okay, so by all means, if you have not already, get your cup of tea, baby. Come sit down in this red tent. We about to talk some yoni semen and sex. Also, if you have not already, do not forget to subscribe down to the channel so that you guys will be updated with each and every time that I release another video about yoni steaming, the menstrual cycle, vaginal issues, whatever you can think of. Make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned. Okay, so if you know anything about me, your girl got the lights of incense, okay? Incense just does something to really help to set the mood in the space. Had that boy smelling nice and good. We're going to need some incense for tonight. Promise you guys this is not going to be a long video, but I do want to share some details about the yoni semen and sex because it's so much talk about yoni semen so many sisters describing you know their experiences with it and how they prepare them and what they do during their yoni steams and if they went and got one outside the home if they went and got one in the house however they're talking about it but i rarely hear anybody talking about the benefits of sex so we're going to talk about some of the benefits and then we're going to get into my personal experience okay some of the benefits are when you v steam prior to sex you're helping to increase the flow of blood to the yoni you're getting that bad boy nice and engulfed and juicy with all kind of delicious juices and you having all those juices running all throughout the yoni girl that bad boy is gonna be engorged you ever hear a guy say that pregnant excuse my french this is gonna be a tmi conversation okay because i mean how else can we do it we spilling the tea have you ever heard a guy say that the pussy is better when it's from a pregnant woman versus a regular non-pregnant woman the reason for that is because the yoni is engulfed with the blood. All of the blood is centered down in the womb in the yoni because that womb is holding a child. And so with all that increased blood flow, it makes the yoni nice and tight. It makes the yoni nice and juicy. It's wet. It has all those different characteristics of very pleasurable sex, right? So the yoni steam allows for all of that blood and helps all of that blood to get flowing down into the yoni it makes it be engulfed with the juices and the yumminess of the vagina right and so if you are yoni steaming prior to sex you are increasing that blood flow to the womb what you are also doing is you're giving yourself kind of involuntary kegels and the reason why i say this is because when you yoni steam, the uterus is doing a small contraction, right? You might not feel it. It's doing like an involuntary contraction though. And so it's toning up the yoni, but it's also doing what is the equivalent of a Kegel when you yoni steam, when you bring that tonification to the pelvic floor and when you bring that tonification to the vaginal walls. It's not going to be hard for you, baby. It's not going to be hard for you if you are releasing, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit later, but if you are releasing all that mental blockage that we be having about like, oh, what do you think about my gut? Oh, is he looking at my stretch marks? Oh, my titties flopping this way. Whatever the heck is running through your mind is sex that's preventing you from climax. And baby, when you have a yoni steam, it's going to release all of those worries from your mind. First of all, because you're going to be 100% relaxed, but it's also going to be rushing all this wetness and moisture down to your yoni. Now, for those women who are dealing with odors, vaginal odors, or any kind of issues with pH imbalances and things like that, baby, V steam before sex. And I'm going to tell you why. You V steam, all of those 
aromas from the herbs that you are steeping in that pot is going to be, it's like giving your vagina a full out facial. It's like smothering it with a whole face of herbs. It smells heavenly. And if you have not already experienced these things with like fresh fruit and these things with cinnamon, you can put those different herbs down into your V-steam because the same thing that you're eating in your mouth and that you're putting into your gut, you can also feed to your yoni through a steam. So you can put some oranges down there. You can put some lemons down in that pot. You can put some cinnamon down in that bad boy, some apples, all kind of fresh fruits. And these fresh fruits boiled along with the yoni steam herbs is going to make that bad boy smell nice and fruity. If you are suffering with vaginal odor and discharge, any of those other things other than you getting physically treated from a doctor, of course, V-Steam. V-Steam is going to help you to release all of those toxins that are creating the imbalance in your yoni and that's creating the pH, that's making your pH be off and it's making those vaginal smells come. We also got to know, and if you have not already, check out my video on how to balance your pH. I will make sure I link it up top. You can go back and check that out after this video. Baby, you want to make sure that your pH is balanced completely because if your pH is balanced, you want to make sure that your vagina is not having any discharge, that it smells good all the time, that you're not dealing with you know, yeast infections and, and BV and these, these different kind of infections that come as a result of our pH being off, you want to make sure that all of that is kept at a limit. So make sure you are V-steaming in addition to any of the prescribed medications that your doctor is giving you and keeping up with your regimen. Now, I want to say this for all of you sisters who are having a hard time Climaxing, who has never experienced an orgasm, who does not know what an orgasm is like, doesn't even know if she can orgasm, probably sitting there questioning your yoni, trying to figure out if it's something wrong with you, baby. When you yoni steam prior to going into your sexual encounters, it will completely change your climaxes. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. I'm going to share my story in a minute, but trust me. So I think the... First and foremost reason why these things really help to change this for us is because when you have these things, you are completely relaxed. You're letting go everything that was on your mind and that you was dealing with prior to. You are releasing all of that, okay? And then after you have these things and you're relaxed, when you go into sex, like I mentioned before, you're not going into all of these things that's caught up in our mind. The reason why you ain't been climaxing, baby, is because you sitting there holding on to each and every detail of what you have as a as a flaw on you that you think that he's not attracted to. You thinking about what paper you got new at your job. You think about your cell phone bill is due. You think about the kids getting on your nerves. You're thinking about Joe down the street. Release all of that, baby. Release all of that in your yoni steam. And after you sit down and you have all of that released in your yoni steam, you're going to be able to be so much more clear in your mind and you're going to be able to be present in sex. And when you are present in sex, it allows you to be able to climax. You can't climax if you're thinking about something else. You got to be thinking about the task at hand. And I don't mean the task at hand like, oh, what does he think about me when I turn this way or if my gut show or <laughs> if the titty pop out? <laughs> you don't want to think about none of that. You got to be thinking about the task at hand. You got to be thinking about how you into this person. You got to be thinking about how you're attracted to them. You got to be thinking about, you know, the acts that are going on, being present in the moment. You know, don't be trying to be focused on all that other kind of crazy stuff down the street. Okay, I want to say that there are some things I want to warn you about if you are V-seaming before sex, okay? And the reason why I'm, I am warning you about these is because I don't want you to be caught off guard if you go to VC prior to being intimate and then you find out like, damn, why did they ain't tell me that this is about to happen to me and she got me all the way out here and in my feels. Girl, don't come back blaming me. I'm telling you right now, Watch out for these things, okay? First thing I want to warn you about is when you V-Steam, you are opening up your energetic body to 
being extremely open. So you got to be careful if you're V-steaming, that you're V-steaming and then being intimate with somebody that you are ready to be 100% vulnerable with. Don't V-steam because you want that joint to be nice and wet and then go be with this guy that you really don't care about or that you don't want to be vulnerable with or you aren't ready to go into the, those different areas, baby. Don't be steamed prior to sex. I'm telling you right now. But if you are at a place where you want to enter into some of those deeper layers of relationship and y'all are at that place and y'all are vibing and y'all are getting to know each other specifically like with your spouses and things like that, you can go and be seen and then watch how vulnerable and open you become, okay? If you are a woman who, other than has a problem with climaxing, if you are a woman who is also afraid of being vulnerable, being too vulnerable and being too open during sex, then I want to suggest to you that you only v seen maybe about a couple of days prior to. Like if you know that you're going to be hooking up with your guy or your significant other, your husband, you make sure that you are planning all of your V-steaming a couple of days prior to, two to three days prior to y'all hooking up. You don't want to be doing your V-steam directly before y'all meet because like I said, it's going to make you be extremely open to them. It's going to make you be extremely vulnerable. And in addition to that, it's going to cause what is the next issue. And the next thing that I'm going to warn you about is V-steaming makes you extremely susceptible to taking on the energy of your mate. And if you know anything about how the womb works and you know anything about the vagina, the reason why men can't leave us alone, baby, the, we, the reason why men are hunting down women is because if you fully in your divine feminine energy and you fully in balance as a woman, when that man come to you, he releasing everything that he was stressed about that whole entire week up until the time he came to you, okay? So when you v steam and then you go and be intimate, you got to be careful that you're not taking on the energy of your partner. And it's going to open you up. It's going to open your pores up. It's going to open you up to be accepting and intaking everything that he's releasing. Now, this matters if he is ejaculating inside of you or if he isn't. It does not matter. Energetically, even though he's not physically ejaculating into you, energetically he's ejaculating everything he was stressed about into your womb when y'all are being intimate. So you want to make sure that if you are yoni steaming prior to y'all being intimate, you are also making sure you do your due diligence to release the energy after, right? And so in another video, I'm going to talk about layered yoni steaming and how you can get benefits from layered yoni steaming to help you release baggage after sex that you may have experienced that you picked up from your mate or you have some like you know sometimes you can be intimate with your guy and before he came you was like in a good mood you was jovial and he was like you know yeah you know i'm really stressed out i'm gonna come over there i'm gonna tear that thing up when i get there i'm stressed out i need to release right he come over to you he released and then when he leave, you be like, damn, my energy is off. I'm switch, you know, my energy done switched up since he left. Or I feel some type of way, you know, since we were intimate. And you trying to figure out as a sister, like, why am I feeling off now that we was, I was intimate with my man? Why is that? Baby, that's because you've, uh, you've absorbed like a sponge all that he had to release, right? And we got to remember that as women, we are receptors. We are pulling out of this man everything that he was holding on to. We have the opening and they have the item that's going into the opening. So if you're with a man and he's releasing into you energetically or physically everything that he was carrying, you got to make sure that you're also helping yourself to get rid of all the baggage that he left behind. And so, like I said in the next video, we're going to talk about Yoni steaming after intercourse to make sure that you're also doing cleanup, okay? After you and your guy are intimate. And the last thing that I want to say before I get into my experience and I share my own experiences with V steaming before sex, I want to let you know that if you're with a guy and you don't like the stuff he's partaking in, like drinking, like smoking, like the stuff he eats, if he got a you know, messed up 
diet and things like that, don't yoni steam and then allow him to ejaculate inside of you because you're going to be absorbing everything that he ate, that he smoked, that he drank. It's all going to be in his semen and all of that's going to be getting absorbed inside of your womb. You know, back in the day, there used to be women who didn't used to take drugs through the veins and through the nose and through the mouth. They used to take drugs through their yonis because the yoni is like the quickest way for it to hit the bloodstream. You want to absorb everything into that yoni. And so you want to make sure that you aren't doing any, you aren't accepting anything that's other than the energy of what you want in your womb, you're not accepting any of that into your womb when you're yoni steaming, okay? And so make sure, like I said, that you check out the next video that I'm getting ready to drop about how you can get rid of the energy from your mate after sex. And I will make sure that I link it up above for you to be able to check it out. How you can get rid of that energy after sex and make sure that you're not carrying around his baggage for weeks and weeks and weeks after he's went on and been about his business and he's on a, he's on a whole happy good note because he done released and you sitting there upset. Okay, so now I'm about to spill the tea. First of all, let me get my tea. First time I ever realized that Yoni steaming was beneficial for sex was I actually stumbled upon it by accident. I happened to just be doing a whole little Wusa moment before my husband came home. It was like, yes, I'm about to, you know, just relax. I'm about to release. You know, I had a stressful day at work. I came in. I got my yoni steam together. I headed to the bathroom. Then my yoni steam. He was on his way. He pulled up. When he pulled up, I was like, oh, man, let me hurry up and get out the bathroom. So I hurried up, got my stuff all set up, put it over there. You know, discarded of it in the toilet, went on about my business. We did what we did. But baby, during this time, this was the first time I had ever realized that I could climax five times in one session. Now, it ain't that I had never climaxed before. It's not that I have never had that moment and that release before. But the Yoni Steam. Turn that thing up to another notch because I wasn't caught up. First of all, like I said before, previous in the video, we got to make sure we ain't caught up in our minds. When I was younger and I was, you know, intimate with my husband, I was caught up in my mind. Like, oh my God, does he think I'm fat? Baby, you with me. You know I'm fat, okay? Ain't nothing I can hide about that. Either you're going to like me the way I am or you're not. Those that that's just what it is. So if you with me and you know I'm a big girl and I'm confident in who I am, the name of you gotta be confident about me too. So that I let that that was like the first thing that I checked out of my mind. And then the second thing was like, why am I sitting here stressed about bills and stressed about the kids and stressed about how I'm going to take care of whatever in my business? That ain't the time for it in the bedroom neither. And so once I realized that when I released all of those different outside thoughts and I was centered in the X of what was happening down in sex, I realized, oh my God, this is something different. So that was when I realized that I could climb X when I got rid of all the outside mind chatter. But then when I got down deep into the act and I'm being intimate with him and I climax the first time, and then I climax the second time, and then I climax the third time, then I climax the fourth time, and then the fifth time, I was like, something is wrong. I had to start trying to question if my girl was okay. I had to try to figure out what was happening down there. And then I realized, oh, okay, not only have I released everything that was in my mind that was blocking shit, me climax and I release all of the physical and energetic stuff inside my body that was that was preventing me from climaxing. And so what I want to tell you is if you make sure that you yoni steam prior to being intimate with your man, baby, it's going to change your sex life drastically. I'm just trying to tell you. So 
don't forget to comment down below. Now, I don't want to know no gory, freaky, juicy details, okay? I don't want y'all spilling all the tea down in the comment section. We got to try to keep it halfway clean. But what I do want to know is, have you experienced some differences before or after Yoni steaming? And then had being intimate with your mate, okay? Don't forget to comment about that down in the box. So, if you have not already, please like this video. I'm going to be bringing y'all way more tea spilling topics and convos about yoni steaming, about good gushiness about the yoni, okay? Sharing all of that tea and those tips and tricks on how you can take care of the girl and make sure she's working at her optimal best at all times. And then I want you guys to also subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed already, please do subscribe and make sure that you push the notification button so that you can be updated each and every time that I submit a video. As well as make sure you share this with any sisters that you know that may need some tips on how she can have help climaxing. And if you are interested in Yoni's themes, don't forget to head over to thisredtent.com where you can find a whole bunch of Yoni's themes and a whole bunch of Yoni steaming supplies and goodiness over there. So I love you guys and I want to say peace. I want to say that I'm so grateful that you have met me here in the sacred space of the red tent. And I look forward to meeting you again at our next Spilling the Tea moment. Deuces. <laughs>